No matter what kind of business you have, getting to know your clients and customers is one of the key things that can help you create better targeted offers that everybody raves about and everybody wants to buy. But how do you actually get to know your clients and customers? The easiest way to do that is with a survey. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Squarespace forms to set up a survey right on your Squarespace website without having to pay for any third-party software or third-party survey solution. Hi everyone. If you're new to this channel, my name is Anna Lea. I'm the owner and designer behind Light Design Studio, where I design custom Squarespace websites and templates for creative small businesses. And here on this channel, I share Squarespace and tech tips to help you work smarter and not harder. So if that is something that you're interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button. And now without further ado, let's dive into today's tutorial. I am over here on my Squarespace demo website, and I'm going to show you how you can use Squarespace forms to set up a survey. So we are going to start by adding a blog and I'm going to add the form block. So this is how the form block looks by default. And as you can see, it is set up as a contact form. However, we don't want that. We want to set up a survey, something along the lines of getting to know your ideal clients and actually getting answers that are meaningful and helpful to you so that you can tailor your services and products to them. In order to do that, I'm going to click on the pencil icon and then I'm going to go edit form fields and I'm going to delete all of these because I don't want any of those fields. And the first thing that I'm going to add is I'm going to add a text field, which then I'm going to delete the message. Then on the text, I'm going to basically put in my question. So I'm making this up as I go, so don't take anything seriously, but I just want to give you an overview of how to do this within Squarespace. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a question like what stage of business are you in? Or or better yet, actually, I'm going to ask, what do you do in your business? And now you can add a description or a placeholder text. The placeholder will basically appear in the field. We can say, describe your business like that. And you can make each question required by toggling the required option on. If you add a description, that just basically tells them what you expect them to answer. So you can say, please be brief and specify your industry or something like that. So that is what the description field does and the placeholder basically just is a placeholder text. So you don't have to do any of that if you don't want to. However, if you feel that you a question deserves an explanation, but then you can definitely add it in the description box like that. Then I'm going to click back and I'm going to add a field that asks them how long they have been in business. And for this, I'm going to choose a radio answer and I'm going to say, how long have you been in business? And then for options, I'm going to say less than one year, one to three years. And then we're going to say three to five years and we're going to add another option that says five plus years. Then I'm going to click back. Again, we can make this a required question or not. Typically when it's a survey, I don't usually set these questions to be required. I only do that in contact forms, but if you want to, the option is there. And then I'm going to add another field. Let's say we want to add a text area and I'm going to say, what are you currently struggling with in your business? And then again, you can add description or placeholder or make it required. Then you can add a drop down saying, what do you need help the most with? And then you can choose, you can give them options such as like, I don't know, marketing, lead generation, sales, mindset. You get the point. You can add as many options as you want here. And if at any point in time you want to edit any of those options, you can click on edit and then you can delete them or you can add more or you can rename some of them. So if you wanted to change mindset into something like systems, you can easily do that like that. And then for the placeholder text, I would say choose an option from the drop down to make it clear that they need to actually click and fill it out. And then I'm going to add one more question and that's going to be a survey question. And I'm going to say, please rate how satisfied you are in each of these areas in your business or something like that. Like I said, I'm making this up as I go along. So we are going to add, I am satisfied with my marketing strategy. Option two, I feel like 
My marketing strategy needs a lot of work. My marketing is fine, but I am not converting people, leads, and so on and so forth. If you want to edit any of these options, you can click on edit and then you can delete some of them. You can add more options or you can even reword some of these questions. If you also want to have just one option for the survey, you can easily delete any of these other options and basically tailor this survey to help you assess how your clients are feeling in regards to what you have to offer. And that essentially is how you can create a survey on your website that you can send to either your clients or potential clients and customers who land on your website and basically just help them decide what they should do next. Once you're done creating your survey, what you can do then is under design, you can customize how this survey looks. So you can choose a different field style. For example, you can have it looking like this or you you can change it to be more rounded. You can also change the button style to be either of the button styles that are on your website. And you can also decide where you want the button alignment to be. You can have the survey open up in a light box. So right now it's set up as a button that when somebody clicks, it'll pop open as a pop-up. Let me show you what that looks like. If we save and exit, it'll look like this. Basically, if we go back to the edit form, and under design. You can also customize what that button says. You can change the background of the form and then control the background. You can also add a stroke around it to make it stand out more and then control the padding that is between the form and the actual border that is around it. Again, I don't like this background color, so I'm going to toggle that off. And you can have a cute animation going around the first input highlight like this, if you so desire, or you can have it pulsing like this. Typically, I just leave this as none as I find it too distracting, but you do you. And then the last part that you'll want to configure is storage. And basically for submissions, you can have them send you an email notification whenever somebody fills out the form, or you can use Google Drive and store it in a Google Sheet. You can use Zapier to connect it to any other service that you want to use. And you can also use MailChimp if you want to store your answers there. And then if you want uh, to prevent or minimize the chances of spam submissions, on your website, you can toggle the Google reCAPTCHA on. Basically, it will deter bots from filling out the form. And that is essentially how you can use Squarespace to create a survey on your website. This is useful if you want to create custom intake forms, if you want your clients to go through an assessment of some sort before they actually start working with you and generally just get more information from them. But you can also use them for your email subscribers if you want to ask them about their preferences, what they want to see from you, what kind of products would be most helpful for them and similar. So lots of cool uses for using Squarespace forms to create surveys on your website. So now you know how to set up a survey on your Squarespace website using Squarespace forms. But what about styling those Squarespace surveys and forms to make them look better? I have a separate tutorial on my channel that walks you through that process that you can watch next and I will leave a link to it in the description below. And if you're looking for more tips on how to actually build your Squarespace websites from scratch step by step, I have a free roadmap that walks you through the entire process that you can download from the link in the description below. That's it for today's video and I'll see you next time.